Good day gentlemen, thank you for joining me here at Friendship Shaving. If we haven't met before, my name is Mark and I'm very glad to be here to share my shave with you today. I've started without you I'm afraid. I'm uh, using a soap that I'd not heard of before. And I've been putting that on and it's Into the Sea by a company, Faith and integrity. There is a biblical reference on the lid of their soap and that is Mark chapter 11 23 if that means anything to you but it smells beautiful it is a tallow based soap that includes goat's milk buttermilk and yoghurt and uh, it has notes of sea salt, moss, rain, bergamot, algae, grapefruit, lily and cucumber. More on that in a moment. So today I'll be shaving with an above the tie single edged razor and this is their SE1 I have a Proline Artist Club style blade in here. This razor really is a terrific shave. So we'll get straight onto this. And uh, just while I start, I'll tell you a little bit about the soap. I find it to be very, very pleasant indeed. I can pick up a little bit of the zestiness from the grapefruit and I think the cucumber makes it smell a little bit watery and aqueous. It uh, was a sample from a friend of the channel Brian and indeed the razor today was a gift from my friend Sven so thank you gentlemen both of you uh, terrific shave we're gonna have today now this razor is as i said a single edged razor from above the tie it's a beautiful shave but to my mind there's something lacking when i look at the razor in terms of how can I put it? In terms of design and panache, let's put it that way. I feel that it lacks some of the uh, artisticness. That my favourite single edged razors have and if you watch my channel you will know that that is the ever ready 1912 and the ever ready streamline um, and I think some of that comes about because this is essentially a double-edged razor design trying to be a single-edged razor. And by that I mean the post is on the head cap, the head cap goes through the guard plate and then the handle screws on. It is attractive in its own way but uh, as I said I feel it lacks it lacks something stylistically, but I am finding it to be an excellent shave indeed. Now this 
one that I have is their satin matte finish. I have the Kronos handle on it and it is a $210 razor for those options. Being all stainless steel it is quite heavy. I noticed on the uh, above the tie website it gave the weight of the handle but not the weight of the whole razor. So I've weighed this just on my old analog kitchen scales. It comes in at about 120 grams which is about four ounces. So it is quite a chunky heavy little razor. Kronos is a three and a half inch handle, 88.9 millimeters. Sits quite nicely on my little finger there, that three and a half inch handle is quite a nice size for me. And with the slightly wider Artist Club blade that was a very quick first pass it seemed and very nice too I've noticed gents just uh, in passing I have my lather bowl down here and I've noticed that as I rinse my face and do various things there's just sometimes a drop of extra water goes into my bowl, so uh, I'm sure you've found that yourself if you have your lava bowl in a similar position. So I'm just going to work that in. This is a really nice scented soap, I'm really enjoying this. First time I've used it today. No issues with it at all, they are lathered up beautifully. And you can see I've got a really nice lather. Wonderful. Beautiful. I was looking at some of the uh, single edged razors that are available. Um, over the last few days in preparation for this show there are quite a few that are sort of this style that have been um, sort of flattened on the one side so you can lay it down very easily I think really the only um, The only company that has tried to do something different with a single edged razor is uh, the Leaf Company with their twig razor that I have up here. And uh, you know, the sort of center of that extends upwards to open the head. Um, really clever design. Of course the other well-known design is the Schick 
style riser and uh, you know that's been copied many times but this style of riser um, works it just works it's very functional I feel it's like the razor equivalent to those blocks of flats they put up in the 60s <laughs> perhaps I've been a bit mean there but very very functional fantastic show it is rated On the above the tie website has been a level six in terms of aggression um, sort of medium average it says now I've had this put away for a long time And only bought it out in a week for the first time. I'm finding that it can be a little bit harsh sometimes, but there is a sweet spot. And if I get that bang on, it really does not have that harsh feel. The shame I had with it in the week, it was one of those, and I know that your post-shave feel relies in large part to the products you use. But I had a phenomenal shave that left me kind of doing this on my face for the evening. I had a fantastic shave. And I'm expecting the same today, I'll be honest with you. I'm already... Well, it's a wonderful shave already and I've got an extra pass to go. So a very nice razor indeed. But as I say, it is an expensive razor. According to the information, this has a 0.61 blade gap. There is something that annoys me a little bit about this razor. We'll come to that just in a moment. I'm just smelling this to see if it's changing as I'm using it. I'm still getting that fresh grapefruit that's coming through a little bit more now, but it uh, still smells quite aquatic. I mentioned that it had a scent note of algae. I have no idea what that smells like. But, very nice soap. So the third pass now, and um, this Kronos handle is a cross-hatched handle. It has a rounded bottom, so I can't stand it up on its end. I don't know if that's because of the weight of the head. You see there is probably more weight in the front, perhaps. But being a little bit cynical, I wondered if that was made like that. So you have to buy the razor stand that they sell which is $63 however the razor lays down on its back very nicely indeed so it's not a big issue but I do like to stand my razors up so there we are just a little a little thing there and I'm going against the grain
and I'm trying to get that sweet spot. For me there is definitely a little bit of blade feel on this, even when I'm on that sweet spot. But it is not super aggressive, um, but you will get a fantastic shave, a close, effective shave, I should say, to be correct. If you like a little bit of blade feel, you might like this one. But as I say, it isn't excessive. myself just there. Caught a little spot or something. feel for me as I said comes in when I don't quite have that sweet spot so I'm still very much experimenting with the feel of this razor there's not a hair left <laughs> Beautiful shape. There's a nice bit of slickness on this side. So I will use this riser a little bit more over the next few weeks and months and come back with another shave. I certainly feel like I've had a very close shave. Um, I wouldn't like to use as a daily shaver a riser that has any more aggression than this personally. Um, that's just enough for me. There we are, we'll put that up there. Now the soap will go very nicely with today's aftershave because I've got some Davidoff cool water aftershave. A bit of a Row back there to my younger days. I'll have a good slosh of this. And just to tell you guys, I have got a Gifts of Friendship, an unboxing video coming up for you on Monday. Look out for that one, I've got some fantastic things, some surprises, some items that I know about, I'm very excited to get my hands on again, and uh, that is my shape for now. Look after yourselves, I'll see you Monday, bye bye now, take care.